I'm really concerned about Hytale since the Riot Games layoffs a few days ago. Yeah, so big game companies are laying off a lot of people lately, like Microsoft who just cut thousands of jobs, and one of those big guys, Riot Games, the creators of League of Legends and Valorant actually bought Hytale's team in 2020. So when Riot announced recently that over 500 jobs were being cut, including from projects like Riot Forge and Legends of Runeterra, a lot of people naturally got a little anxious about Hytale too. I mean, it's been in the development for a long time, with Riot fully funding it. If Riot is dropping projects that aren't moving forward, you've got to wonder if Hytale might be next on the list. Well, Hypixel Studios quickly made things clear a few days later and addressed concerns, stating, We've received a number of questions from our community regarding the impact on Hypixel Studios. We want to clarify that Hypixel Studios is not affected by this announcement and our production plan for Hytale has not changed. We've spoke before about how much Riot really cares about Hytale. The ex-CEO even explained why they decided to put money into the game and the studio to begin with. Riot thinks very highly of Hytale's potential and has been getting closer and closer to the team working on it. This actually looks like a good sign for what's coming, and even though it's really sad to see so many layoffs happening everywhere, maybe some of those talented people will end up joining Hypixel Studios since they're still hiring. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. The Hytale trailer dropped way too early. They're gonna need some massive hype generation approaching launch. I hear this a lot. But think about it, Hypixel didn't plan to wait 6 or 7 years after showing the trailer to launch their game. Originally, they really did think they'd launch much, much sooner. This was before they saw how many people were excited about Hytale and before Riot Games decided to invest. With more support and interest, they decided to take their time to make the best game that they could, a choice that took a few years. So it wasn't that they released the trailer too early on purpose, like in a way to aggravate us, and they haven't waited all all of this time, this long after the trailer, without strategically planning exactly what they're going to do to recapture that attention. The trailer for Hytale is already 5 years old, and the buzz around it really has calmed down now. That's just how it goes with making games and other products. Things take time. You announce or show something cool, see what people think, and then move forward with full production or launch. Sometimes though, that first big announcement makes people so excited that it opens up new doors, new opportunities, and most importantly, new choices. Do you stick with your first plan, even if it might not be what everyone was hoping for? Or do you spend more time and money to see if you can achieve something even better? The trailer was a big help in getting Hytale to where it is now. It built a fan base. it got more skilled people to work on the game. The initial hype might have faded, but that trailer's impact is going to last a long time. Cyberpunk did a pretty good job of recovering from an early announcement and delays, although hopefully that's the only thing that Hytale's launch shares with that game. Well, the team have clearly thought about this whole hype recovery, this regeneration, this rebuilding of excitement, as they've made sure not to get people too excited too soon, waiting until they're almost ready to launch. They don't want to disappoint anyone or make any false promises. Cyberpunk had a tough time with too much pressure and a fixed launch date, but Hytale doesn't have any of those problems. Riot seems to be letting the Hytale team do their thing without pushing them too hard or forcing them into some kind of development crunch with big public announcements. Not going to lie, the fact they let the trailer hype fade instead of rushing to get something out is what makes this so promising to me. I totally agree with this, although the team has admitted that finding the right balance has been tough. They've been trying to share just enough to keep everyone calm and in the loop, but not so much that it gets the whole world talking again. It's been a tough tightrope to walk. They've actually done a better job than most in avoiding false promises and finding a balance in my opinion. The hype is down, yes, but that could never be more intentional. Laying low right now is part of their plan. This is a big risk that Hypixel is taking. They have to advertise this game like crazy before releasing it. It is a big risk for sure, and I have no doubt that with the backing of Riot Games, they will do. And why did the game require 3 to 4 more years? Well, it's because they had to build a brand new engine to work across phones, consoles and computers, and that meant starting from scratch with a new coding language. This kind of change does take time, but the rest of the team did keep improving on other parts of the game. They didn't grind to a halt as many think. 
They wanted to stop showing the old stuff because it was outdated, and as it was in the old engine, it wouldn't match up with the new one shown on release. But you need not worry because the new engine still aims to give the same look and the same feel, and a lot of what we've seen over the years will still be in the final game. This does for some lead to the questions of why didn't the team tell us all of this? Why the silence and how were we supposed to know? All of these are fair questions until you realize the updates they do share are mostly for the biggest fans and they do actually talk to them quite a bit. Here's a look at all the times the team has spoken up about the game. Sure, there were quiet times, but those were usually during important parts of development and they always respected us by following up with more information later. That's a lot more than people give them credit for or even realize that the team are doing, with updates on their website, social media, interviews, and now even recently starting a hashtag to answer questions directly. So there's a lot of ways they're keeping in touch. I wanted Hytale to come out years ago, but after playing new MC updates and a few survival games, I'm glad they chose to rework the engine and game in general. We all wanted Minecraft 2, but now we want Hytale. There's a lot of this kind of sentiment, that the wait and extra time may have actually worked massively in the long run for this game, as it has now become something it never could have been if it was rushed. Although some still do believe that Hytale will be like Power World is to Pokemon, but you know, for Minecraft. Although I think that comparison could largely be debated, it does show what people are thinking about Hytale's chances, especially if they start building up the hype in the next year or so. And I mean, if Power World can come out of nowhere and gain global attention, why wouldn't Hytale be able to? Really hoping for Hytale Beta to release before summer, sadly it's probably going to take much longer, but we'll see. I'll be honest, expecting a beta this year might be a little too hopeful in my opinion, but I do think that by summer we will be seeing the new engine reveal, a bunch of never before seen gameplay, and maybe by the end of the year some news on when the game is due to drop. If we're being realistic about a beta though, I feel it is at least a year out, so summer 2025 maybe? That might annoy some of you, thinking you know you're going to be older and busier by then, but that's just how these things go sometimes. It's been so long since Hytale announced that I'm in college now and have kind of lost interest over the years. Look, I've read so many comments like this, with many explaining that they just don't have the hype for the game they did before. They've lost that excitement from when they were younger, and that's okay. This happens with many things, we're always growing and evolving as people. When we are impatient or passionate about something, it can even be polarizing and cause us to say quite dismissive things like, I give up on the game, it's a scam and I'll never play it because we feel betrayed for whatever reason. But life is rarely ever so black and white. Take this comment for instance. I'd be lying if I say I still have the same amount of hype for the game I once did, but nonetheless I am still very much looking forward to the game. These things have nuance. We know that people will and still can come back to the game if they want, after it releases and before, and even if we think we're past that perfect age to enjoy it, the game itself could still be great, and there might be a whole new group of players who will love everything about it, like the content, the maps, and the servers. Basically, just because you're not as hyped anymore doesn't mean everyone feels the same. Game development takes a long time, and this style of longer development is something we might see more of in the future. And if you think you're getting older and busier, trust me, you'll be surprised where we find time for things in life when we really really want to enjoy them. Just remember that as some people move on, new fans will come along, ready to dive in and create amazing things. And while you may not be excited for Hytale anymore, one day you may do again. And that's completely cool if you had no faith in the project or if you did from the start. I'm about to finish college with a game programming degree and I'm really hyped for Hytale. There's so many mods I want to make and so many worlds I want to create, I just hope it comes out even better than I dreamed for mod tools. And yeah, you can bet the team are counting on this passion and the excitement they can generate once they put this game and this engine into the hands of the players. Many of which of course are and will be when they see the game very very eager to play it. A game hasn't got me feeling this excited in a long time. Hytale has genuinely brought back that childlike Christmas morning excitement in me and I thought I would never feel that again. I'll leave you with that commenter's positive sentiment. Check out all the recent Hytale updates here. Thanks for watching, stay safe and keep free.